here backstage with the victorious Nathaniel Wood, who's just defended his title for the second time, defeating Luca Iovine this evening at Cage Warriors 92. Um, Nathaniel, uh, quick night of work this evening. Like, was that the fight you were expecting? Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if it was with myself. I'd done an interview the other day saying that, you know, I wasn't here for a long night. Last time I was a bit back and forth, and, you know, I wanted to get in and get out tonight. I mean, when, when you landed that, what was it? I think it was the left hand, like, he crumpled, like, you, you kind of looked like you recognised he was out straight away, but when, when you saw him, you know, head first, heading to the canvas, what, what were you thinking in that moment? Yeah, you know, as I was saying to my coach after, you know, usually when you land a good shot, your instincts, like, pounce on the guy, you know, but I knew I didn't need to do that, you know, so as soon as I landed it and saw him the way he turned, I knew I'd won the fight, and, you know, it's just good to get on the cage and celebrate so, uh, as usual. You've had a few kind of like quick finishes, I guess, in the Indigo now. You've had one complete and utter war there. Like, what gives you the most satisfaction, I guess, after? That crowd. You know, when you listen to that crowd and I, and I get the win in front of them as well, it's amazing. I mean, obviously, you've got, you got the belt over your shoulder now. You need one more to keep it, though, right? Oh, yes. Uh, third defence. So this is, yeah, second. I have one more. Uh, do you, do, are you going to get that fight there? Because I mean, like everyone's going to be asking you in a minute, and you've already been asked UFC, right? This uh, it has to be on the cards. Massive win. You know, I literally it sounds boring for you guys, but I leave that to my manager and Cage Warriors and the UFC, you know, and uh, whatever they want to do. You know, I just do as I'm told. Uh, are you still at a kind of uh, position in your career where you feel, feel you're making massive strides every single camp that you're in? I mean, physically you look fantastic tonight, maybe better than ever I've seen you. Yeah, you know, I, I honestly feel that months, every few months, you know, I'm coming on leaps and bounds. But, you know, I can tell when I'm sparring, you know, the guys I'm sparring with, I can just tell that I'm on a different level to, to certain people that I used to be at the same level, you know. We've had guys come back to the gym that I used to spar with and, you know, what did uh, Brad say to you backstage after that win? Was it was he pleased with it? Was it? Did yeah, he think it was he's the moon, you know. Um, you know, me and Brad are really close, you know. So I know it's, it's, it's tough for him when I get in there. You know, it's a lot of pressure. But you know, I knew he was confident, and uh, you know, he just said this what he expected. I mean, let, let's say you do get an opportunity to uh, make sure that is yours forever. You do get a, a third title defence. Like, who have you kind of seen that you think he's the guy next? He's the one. Jack Shaw maybe this evening? I haven't, you know. I don't think any of these guys are on my level, you know. They can call me out all they want. Jack Shaw, you know, he called me out, but he, he, he did it politely, you know, so it's not like any sort of beef or anything, but, you know, he's not on my level. Like obviously your level, a lot of people are going to say you are you are worth the UFC call now. Do you firmly believe that, let's say you do get that call, you're going to be put in the UFC, you're ready for this? Yeah, I've been ready a long time. You know, I honestly think you put me in the UFC, give me less than a year and I'll be in the top ten. Yeah, I mean, is there anything, like one last word, I guess, for the fans this evening who turned up en masse again for you at the Indigo here in London? For you. Thank you. As always, you know, people spending their hard-earned cash to come and see me. You know, I'd like to bring up a performance on for you guys. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hope, I hope you enjoyed it. Nathaniel, great performance tonight. Um, I don't know where we're going to be seeing you next, but it will no doubt be another great fight. So thanks Thank for your time. You